Thank you, Dimi. A lot of our subscribers, I think, are getting confused between dental implants and implants that we use in maxillofacial or craniofacial surgery. So I'm going to tell you some of the differences between two and how you mustn't get confused. The dental implants are basically small longish implants. They're like screws. We screw them onto the patient's jaws and then we put the tooth on top. That's a different ball game. This is done so that the tooth is rehabilitated. We're getting the patient enriched to tooth by getting artificial fixed teeth. Now, maxillofacial implants are different. They're usually plates and screws. So these plates are tiny plates. They can also come in the form of meshes. Plates could be a long one. The plates could be square shaped. Plates could be L shaped, X shaped, Y shaped. We get different types of plates, different types of systems. Yes, we do have them in the dental implants as well. Different companies making different implants. But what I'm trying to tell you is these implants, which we use in maxillofacial surgery, after we move the jaw, Let's say we're moving the chin forward by 8 millimeters or you're getting the whole jaw forward by 7 millimeters. We use these plates and screws to fix the jaw in the new position. So that's the difference now. The role of a dental implant or the purpose of the dental implant is to have new teeth. While the purpose of the maxillofacial or the craniofacial implants most of the times is to stabilize the skeleton in a new position. Having said that, the role or the need of the maxillofacial implant stops after a while, meaning six to eight weeks or sometimes as early as four weeks, these bones, the new position, tend to consolidate and fuse and heal. Once healed, these implants are of no use. We can actually remove and throw them. We don't do that nowadays. The need isn't there much because we're using high quality titanium implants, be it Indian or German. While a dental implant, you really don't have to remove them at all. You shouldn't. It's there for life because you need to have the tooth on top of this implant and it's never going to be that you remove the implant and the patient continues to have the teeth. So these are the two main differences. Another common question I get asked often is when is the best time to remove these implants? Remember, conventionally, that is three decades or two decades before, a lot of stainless steel implants were being used for maxillofacial surgery. So these implants were not that conducive, were not that positive conducted. Therefore, a lot of them, maybe about 20-25% of them, tend to be removed later on, maybe from six months onwards. Currently, in our practice here at Richardson's, we hardly remove these maxillofacial implants using titanium, good quality implants. And when you place them in the right place, they basically just stay there for life. Um, we've had a couple of cases when they went through these detectors at the airports, it made a lot of noise and there was a lot of concern. So in those patients who are traveling a lot, and if these implants can be removed easily, in most cases they can be removed easily once the job of uh, getting the bones together and consolidating is done is over. So that's the two main differences with the uh, dental implants and the maxillofacial implants. Thank you.